guys welcome back to my channel so today I decided to film my first fall video which I am so excited about yes I am really gonna miss the summertime I have to admit but I love fall makeup and I love the dark lip look and oh, I just I could not wait so I decided to film this video for you guys it's a cut crease I decided to make an updated cut crease tutorial because I made one exactly a year ago or it's coming up on a year now and I just wanted to do an updated one because I feel like the cut crease is really in now especially for the fall time so this is what I came up with this was the look I got it's kind of similar to my other cut crease that I did a year ago I only filmed my eyeshadow like from here here. This is all I filmed because I feel like my past few videos have been really repetitive. I, I've been using the same products for my face. Nothing has changed. So if you guys want to see how I get my foundation, contouring, highlighting, all that stuff, you guys can watch my previous videos. So this video should be pretty short and simple and to the point. It's just my eyeshadow. That is it. But I promise my next video will be a full face again. Hopefully I can find some new products that I enjoy and I can use those instead of being so repetitive. But yeah, so this is the look I got. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you wanna see how I got it, just keep on watching. Okay, so we're gonna do our transition color in the crease and we'll be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Warm Taupe to do that. So you're just gonna blend that and buff that into your crease. Next, I will be taking just an Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow brush, actually, and I will be using that to cut the crease with another Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow called Red Earth. You don't have to be so precise and clean when you're cutting your crease here at this part because you will be going in to clean it up with some concealer. So you can be as messy as you want, especially when you're blending because it'll all work out in the end once you start cutting it with the concealer and making it look all clean and nice. So you don't have to worry about that. And pretty much all you're going to do to cut the crease is follow the eye shape, follow your eye shape, and then you're going to wing it out like as if you were doing a winged liner. Now I'm just going to blend it and buff it out with some different blending brushes. I will list all the brushes I use down in the description box. But pretty much all you're going to want to do is just blend it out really well so there's no harsh lines. And this part you can get as messy as you want because next we will be cutting it with the concealer. So it's all right if it gets down onto your eyelid a little bit. We're going to fix that in the next clip. Now I'm taking my Maybelline Better Skin Concealer and just a concealer brush. And I'm going to start cutting the crease. You're really going to want to be careful and precise with this because you won't be going in later to fix it. So you don't want to go any higher. You're just going to want to take your time with this and cut it out really well. Next, I will be going with a Makeup Geek shadow, and it is starry-eyed, and I'm going to put that all over my lid. Now, after I apply starry-eyed all over my lid, I will be going in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner, and I will be winging that out. You don't have to if you do not want to. You can just throw on some false lashes and call it a day and it'll give the same nice effect. But I just wanted a little bit more of a dramatic effect because this is more of a fall nighttime tutorial. So I did want to give it that dramatic effect and wing out my liner. But like I said, if you don't want to, you don't have to. And sorry it's cut off here. It's really hard to do a wing liner on camera and watch yourself at the same time. So I didn't even notice that it was cut off a little bit, but you guys, I hope, get the general idea. I'm just going to wing that out. Next, I will be going with the Vol Velour Lashes, the Carly Bible ones. I absolutely love these lashes so much, and I haven't used them in forever. 
So I decided to bring them back out for this look. And then after that, your look is complete and you have your nighttime fall cut crease look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Okay guys, so that was it. That was how I got this fall time look right here. I really hope you guys enjoyed it because I had a lot of fun filming it. I love the whole cut crease look. So I will definitely be doing more cut creases. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. You'll be notified every time I upload a new one. So thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Walking home